we need to take this into the equation. So, Dick and I, some a year ago, actually it was you, came up with the original idea to call solar shading for the energy filter of the facade. <coughs> it was brilliant. And this is what I run for the solar shading companies at home in Sweden. And it's quite an interesting exercise, because we say, this is a normal situation that we've seen for all these years. We have a sunny day, uh, it's summer, and the solar shading is down because the sun is up. And then it's night, and we no sun, so we pull the shading up. But already here, we are doing something energy smart with the building. Any suggestions on what we're doing here? We are allowing the house to cool out during night. More and more people realize that now, but only a year ago when I ran this slide in Sweden, I got no suggestions. Because we just recently realized this. Some people might have. Uh, but, but not in general. We don't use it in our daily business with solar shade. And by knowing this, all of a sudden we can do the reverse. We can say now it's winter, this is very strong for Sweden. You heard also Fabio from Italy talking about this. That in summertime, when the building allows, according to function, might be Saturday or Sunday, nobody in the office, for example, or late afternoons, we can pull the shadings up and let the heat natural heat in. And we can do the reverse during nighttime, as long as the solar shading is close to the window. And now it's quite funny as well, because if you've been in the industry for a while, you've always learned that solar shading on the outside is always best, right? No. But here, all of a sudden, it's it's the other way around. Here, all of a sudden, inside solar shading turns out to be better than outside. Because we can increase the U value of the facade, depending on the product, etc. Of course. Then, also, just three slides on a, on a scientific project we did, uh, I was involved in in Sweden uh, in 2007. Just to show you a slide that this was uh, no. Uh, Monkey business or anything, it's uh, close to the Fraunhofer Institute uh, kind of setup in Germany, which I've seen, which is very impressive by the way as well. Um, serious stuff, and it was initiated by the Swedish Energy Agency together with BELOC, which is a name, a shorting for uh, 15, I think there are 18 largest real estate owners in Sweden. They gathered together and financed this. And they said, we want to look at solar shading, Daylight linking, which you see here, together with the light in the room. We don't have time today to go into this project, but I think Dick will show you where you can download the full report on this. But just two very significant slides, and this is from Sweden. Look at the calculations we did according to the data after we ran this uh, live project for six months. The cooling need, Gothenburg, south facade, 10 square meter, one room, have energy smart control and, and motor in a 25 millimeter blind. No strange techniques or anything. Off the shelf things. Because that was my input to the project. Why go for innovations that needs another five years to be developed? We can go for that later on, but look at what we've got on the shelf in, in the business. <coughs> this was the cooling need for that room with no solar shading. This was the actual test we did between jobs. So we had a reduction of 60% and we also calculated if the blind had been outside, the savings would have been 88% on the cooling in for that room. That's quite significant figures. Might not be the same in your country. Even if it's half this, it's still very good. Also looking at another aspect, um, if you Describe it easy. You say the size of the cooling machine. What effect do I need to install in my building as a building owner? There was a decrease of about 20% on installed effect for inside blinds. Well, you see for yourself. And I still, I'm in good relationship with the HVAC industry in Sweden at the moment, but still I haven't been able to get anybody to help me to put a figure on this. Because that's the next step. How many euros? Right? Because I'm quite convinced it pays for quite a bit of solar shavings, right? So, stand up and be proud. We've got something very good going. We have a very good product. 
we can do good for society, for employment rates, etc. Uh, and in spite, it works in spite of the recession we have. Because the, the bank interest rates doesn't care too much about global warming, does it? Or the other way around, sorry. Global warming doesn't care too much about the bank situation, does it? So we are, we are entering, we are, I would say, we are re-entering the building arena. We feel it very strongly now in, in uh, the Nordic countries. We are, been, we are being taken serious for the first time. We are being invited early uh, in the project phase, which didn't happen before. So, and we have a golden business opportunity. Thank you for the attention.